Uh, so I had one of my homeboys call up and he had some bats, had them for a while and he didn't have no money. And he said his mother-in-law was moving in with him. And so he had to do something about the bats. Uh, either he had to go or the mom-in-law had to go or the bats had to go. So the bats had to go. So my homeboy, he didn't have no money. He didn't have no collars and he didn't have no fat back beside me or nothing like that. And he had this old kayak. You traded the bat job for this? <laughs> okay. Are you serious? <laughs> and now all the Batman has to do is to figure out how to pay the hell for Friday. Okay, so we got a, a new state call in Lumberton. Uh, some kind of big office building, a plumber up under there doing a little work and he found a skin. And he says the skin is eight to 10 feet long. Uh, he thinks it might be a boa constrictor. Several people have seen it. Uh, so I'm gonna send a crew over there, but I ain't gonna tell them it's a damn boa constrictor. <laughs> so where's the snake at? Uh, he says to the right, poke her heads in there and it's near snake skin. Okay, let's do this. Uh, uh, this is John Snake Wrangler. Uh, it takes too long for me to get up under the house. It makes me want to kick him in the butt and say, get on over there. First of all, my head checked. My head in there. Okay. What's up? I see the snake. All right. He ain't no little motherfucker neither. That's the rat snake. Come on, Come on. Let's go. Damn, what a snake skin. Oh, you see crap. it? Yeah. Okay, my crew's under there counting snake skins. I'm looking over there seeing kitty cat. Turns out both of my guys are scared of kitty cats. That snake homeboy. Mm hmm. Kitty, you got to get your dumb ass out of here. He's sitting right there waiting on us to get in. All right. Uh, so we got kind of a unique situation going on here. Uh, we got Ducky Medlock up in the rafters of a log cabin slash antique store. Uh, so the challenge here is to do some bat snatching with a minimum of ass busting. Chill out, chill out, you good? Hey, but one more up there, grab him. <laughs> so, homeboy had a 12-inch snake crawling around the house. He had a hoe in his hand, and why he didn't go out there and kill the snake, I don't know. Uh, but now he's hiring us to uh, come over there and do some snake work. Uh, so, we need to get some 2x4s, uh, two 2x4s, two case hardened nails, and frame this access door open, and then uh, put that cheap plywood over. Chad House. Snakey, too. <laughs> Uh, so as porous as this foundation crawl space is, uh, I think my main concern would be not snakes living up in there, but homeless people living up there. Uh, so plan A is snatch all this jack leg work out of here and go back with some professional snake work. Two flying. There's two flying. Two got away. You can tell Medlock oh, edited two. this video. Two. Noticed a compliment from John Brown Man. What kind of bats are these? These are some antique bats. Oh, oh, I get it now. We put it on that back wall. I can reach around and grab his little butt. I'm sure of it. And the show ain't over yet. Uh, first they got to sand it, then we got the camera. Uh, we're gonna bring in some outside help on this, Mr. Hollis. Uh, he's a locally famous camo man. Why? Why you want it camouflaged? Of all things, you know. <laughs> and sometimes we do a little after-hours work, and uh, you need a little, you know, camouflage on them. Because sometimes you need to be able to paddle into a situation, and sometimes uh, you got to be able to paddle out of a situation. <laughs> I, don't worry. I won't say nothing, whatever the hell y'all got going on, <laughs> but look, leave me out of it if anything happens. Sometimes we think it gets a little bit too close to them paint. Terry Hollis, <laughs> world famous 
camo man. What's going on? And, uh, you know, has been known to huff a little. Hey, what you got for me here, George? Didn't get paid for the bat job. You're not getting paid for the camo, but <laughs> a heart. Has anything changed from the last time? <laughs> Can't might do something stupid though. Okay, like run out of this is the kind of stuff we go. Uh, kitty cat yeah, one, here. bat team zero. I'm not sure how long they've been under this house. Starting to get a few five o'clock shadows. Don't you jump up there, he's gonna scare that fucking snake. Snake job, cat job. You got him, John. Got him. But <laughs> well, that's a work of art there, Hollis. I don't know what you fellas are going to be doing, like I said, but uh, you're not going to be seen in that, man. Uh, that's what we call tagging the kayak. <laughs> uh, so they say there's some bats around here, and we can't find them. Uh, so, uh, Medlock, he's going to hit him with a bat blaster, 2020. He's looking for my bats. Uh, we're out at the Optimus Park. Fish fry are coming tomorrow. Bats are gone today. Having a big fish fry tomorrow. Hey, as long as they were under there, they should have come out with a sack full of snakes. <laughs> Yes, sir. How tall are you again? Yeah, six foot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think we're more afraid of that cat than that snake. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. He ain't stuck his tongue out enough. Mm -hmm. Let's put him in the bag. Yeah, that's big. Uh, the foundation of this house has been hermetically sealed. It'll keep out bees, bats, birds, beavers, raccoons, snakes, squirrels, even moles, cheating old ladies, unfaithful husbands, youngins that won't work. Come the great flood, this house will float off the ground. After sealing up the damn house, we looked out the yard, found a snake. I'm starting to thank Medlock's paying John for all these compliments. That's him, man. I believe that's all of them, dude. Well, turns out there's another one right there. After five months and all day trying to get rid of these bats, I'm thinking I'd have come out cheaper getting rid of the owners. Uh oh, he's on your leg, he's on your leg. <laughs> yep. Tells me this ain't the last one. Okay, so this is our catch and release. Uh, bat that, program here uh, in the bat sanctuary. Been under contract for years. No photos, no cameras. Fly away, little bats. Little bat buddies flying off into the sunset. Uh, we get the Mexican free tail, the little brown bat. I just hope they don't fly back home. If they do fly back home, we'll send Medlock <laughs> back over there to catch them, and John comes along to compliment. Okay, spending a little bit too much time with the finger mm. on the bat. Come on. Hashtag, me too. A crew here is kind of milky the job in my opinion. Uh, the Batman was here. These bats would be long gone.
All right, so this compact uh, DeWalt 20 volt drill weapon of choice for squirrels and bats. It's compact, it's lightweight. Uh, the battery's like forever. Uh, it's a good piece of equipment. Forever. All right. Got one on that side, we got one on that side. Shameless pitch for DeWalt endorsement. Uh, we like to live trap the squirrels, but sometimes when they're doing serious damage to the house, you have to have serious equipment to take them out. A double set Conor Bear 110 uh, body grip trap. Gets them across the neck, across the back, they don't know what hit them. And I'm screwing it together. Our kids got no fear, none at all. Except for right about now. And this is a spider. <laughs> Are you trying to say John's afraid of spiders? Among other things. <laughs> the place ain't gonna be gonna mess with that. He is wild, son. Yeah, he's pissed. He ready. He might as well just tear a hole in that bag. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> I don't, he will. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Just watch him. Might need to save this bag for Halloween. <laughs> Give out to the trick or treaters, if you know what I mean. He's getting hot in there. He said, man, let me out. Did you let me out? There he comes. Here he comes. There he comes. Oh, take off, buddy. Usually the crew's dying to get off work. Now all of a sudden they want to play with the damn snake. Plan is this. Uh, at this point, you can tell who's running the show. Uh, the snake is definitely in charge. Got my guys hostage. Grown men playing with a rat snake. You can tell they didn't listen to the mama. 